A very good evening to one and all. Good evening, children. So today we are going to discuss about first year economics, second chapter. Okay. So up to now we completed children first chapter. All the important topics we covered. So today in this class we are going to discuss about second chapter of first year economics by the name theories of consumer behavior. Our topic, our chapter name is theories of consumer behavior. So let us start. To whom you call as consumer? What do you mean by consumer? This is a chapter completely deals with us only. We all are called as consumer, isn't it? We are all our consumers children. What do you mean by consumer? Any person who purchase any things from the market and use those things to satisfy that want called as consumer. We go to the market, we exchange goods with money. That means we give money to a shopkeeper. We purchase whatever we require children and then we use it. So we are a consumer. Even we can say that a child of two years is also a consumer because a small child taking just five rupees of coin in his hand, in his or her hand, move to the, they run to the shop and they purchase the chocolate whatever they like it so in the sense that the child is satisfying a want at that time by using a commodity that is called as children consumer so we are all our consumer and this is a very important lesson when we learn this lesson children there is a certain time it comes like that yes this thing is there in us yes this theory is there this law is there yes yes i checked that one i applied this law law on me yes this is true in that concept so children before to discuss about the all the theories of consumer behavior uh, let us discuss the important part the important is the consumption what do we mean by consumption so consumption consumption it means children that it is the basis of entire economy to satisfy our want we utilized certain goods and services to satisfy want we use certain goods and services okay so we'll write it to satisfy want to satisfy want what we are in need children we are in need of certain commodities we consume certain goods and services consume goods and services okay now utility who introduced for the first time this word utility so in the year 1871 for the first time the word utility was used by G. Vance one of the economists he used this word utility Okay, this was introduced by G. Vance. So, there are two senses we can say that. In a general sense, in a general sense, utility, it means want satisfying power. Utility means want satisfying power want satisfying power of any goods and services children called as the utility in a general sense want satisfying power of commodities commodity means goods children commodities means goods so what is utility children in a general sense utility means want satisfying power any commodity that satisfy our want is called as utility at present now I am teaching children and now this shop quiz is turned as the commodity that is satisfying my want to write it on the board. Now you are writing your notes and you are using notebook and a pen. So notebook and pen children is comes under the utility children in a general sense that is satisfying your want that is satisfying your want children so any commodity that satisfy your want is called as general in a general sense that is called as utility 
As a student of economics, we have to discuss children utility in economic sense again. So, in economic sense, what is utility? So, in economic sense, uh, utility means it is a psychological phenomena. It is a psychological phenomena. Means what children? Psychological phenomena. It means it deals with our mind. Whatever we think. Okay. In whatever the way we take children. That is called as utility in, in an economic way. So we can say that it is a feeling of satisfaction. Because it is it deals with our psychological. It deals with our mind. We feel that yes I achieved it. So we feel very happy. So that is called as a satisfaction. So in economic sense utility it depends on psychological phenomena. And it is in a, we can say as, as it deals with the satisfaction level, children. Deals with the satisfaction level. So, in this one, children, utility. Can we say that every commodity that are available in the market is useful to us? Now, children, there are two concepts are there. Utility and usefulness. These two words, utility and usefulness are two different concepts. Utility means the want satisfying power of a commodity is called as utility. Usefulness means if that commodity is good for us, if it is useful for us, that is comes under the usefulness. For example, there are many products are there in the market that satisfy our want, that satisfy our need, that are useful to us. There are many other commodities are there in the market, okay, that satisfy our want but it is not good for health for example consuming wine smoking of cigarettes drugs etc so that means utility and usefulness are the two different concepts keep it in your mind utility and usefulness utility is want satisfying power but usefulness is depends upon that particular product whether that product is useful to us our health or not is it clear children? So, after learning all these things, we have to discuss about the measurement of utility. We have to discuss about measurement of utility. How we measure utility children. So, there are two concepts are there for the measurement of utility. Okay. For the measurement of utility, two concepts are there. The two concepts are by the first by the name or otherwise if you write like this that is cardinal utility and ordinal utility. These are the two important concepts that measure utility. Cardinal utility. So utility. Utility children, it measures in terms of utils. For example, if you want to weight a product, we weight on basis of its uh, what called weight like a kilos, kilograms, like that we take it. So utility is measured children in terms of utils. Utility is measured in terms of utils. <clears throat> so. What is cardinal utility? If we divide like this, it will be easy for us. What is cardinal utility? Any utility that is measured by the quantity. We can say as any product that satisfies our want in quantitatively basis. So, quantitatively measurement. The utility that measured on account of quantity. Quantity. Okay. How much quantity it is. Maybe it is uh, 100 kg. Maybe it is 10 kg. 5 kg. Or how much uh, it is in number children. So the utility that is measured in a quantity is called as cardinal utility. Then followed by ordinal. Ordinal utility children. So this is a utility that can be measure so just quite opposite children we have to take it this utility can be measured it's not measured on quantity of children it is measured children on quality 
qualitatively we can say it is measured on qualitatively okay so this is the first one quantitatively measurement this is the second one quanti qualitatively measurement okay now when we derive the particular product when we use for example children the particular product so a good can be expressed because it is measuring quantity children so here our satisfaction of the goods can be measured in terms of numbers anyhow i'm going to explain to you children so it is uh, what we call our satisfaction children satisfaction is based on or we give we can say that we derived can be expressed we can say that the satisfaction is expressed in numbers numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 because here we are measuring quantity here we are measuring quantity 1 2 3 4 5 5 okay so here a satisfaction of any good can be expressed in the terms of numbers 1 2 3 4 5 for example if i feel very hungry if i feel very hungry what i do children i start eating chapatis okay so what i am doing children i start eating chapati and generally you also do it children your mother goes on serving you the chapati very hot and tasty chapatis children so what you do you eat the chapati and with the same time you are having a count <coughs> in the mind also after one chapati second third fourth so what is this 1 2 3 4 you are counting and at last you say mummy i had already four chapatis i don't want more why you are telling this word because now your hunger you are satisfied now okay with four chapatis that means you are measuring in quantity children you are measuring in quantity that is cardinal it is measured in terms of 1 2 3 4 5 like and so on then who is the person who is associated with cardinal utility so we can say that alfred marshall alfred marshall is closely associated followed this cardinal utility alfred marshall followed cardinal utility now any laws are there children that means based on this utility any laws are there any theories are there yes the theory of or we can also say as the law of diminishing marginal utility law of diminishing marginal utility and law of equi marginal equi marginal utility it depends on this cardinal utility that means alfred marshall he explained these two theories these these two laws based on the cardinal utility that means measured on the basis of quantity 1 2 3 4 5 hope so it is clear now come to this side ordinal utility ordinal utility is not measured in quantity it is measured in quality and it is expressed it is expressed in terms of in terms of ranks like first second third fourth it is expressed in terms of ranks that is called as ordinal utility now who are associated with this <coughs> economics like j r hicks j r hicks was a very famous economist and ellen these two economists they were associated with this utility okay then what are the laws what are the theories that depends on ordinal utility it is indifference curve analysis indifference curve analysis indifference curve analysis okay so let me explain you about this one 
ordinal utility it is based on quality not on quantity here i said no one chapati two chapati three chapati four chapati quantity we are counting then here it is based on quality okay now you are very hungry again same you are very hungry and your mother she served you she served you with all the very what you call the dishes that you like two three varieties of curries and two three varieties of sweet also is there before you on your dining table now what do you do it you just attack on that food you start eating that one so what happen it's not sure that every time you like all the curries or all the sweets so what happen when you start eating that one you find that one of the curry is very tasty comparing to the other curry that is there also on your on the table okay so what you do it you will have that uh, tasty curry first comparing to that that this less tasty comparing to this one what you are doing children what where you are approaching children you are approaching to the quality now not quantity quality okay and then when your mother ask how is the food you say that mummy that curry is good that curry is after that that means what you are giving children you are giving ranks you are giving first rank to this curry and second rank to this one is it clear children now so here utility is measured in quality and then it is expressed in terms of ranks first second third fourth who are the economists j r hicks and allen they are closely associated to this particular ordinal utility and then which law is based on this all these laws are in second lesson this lesson only children indifference curve analysis is based on ordinal utility children this is an important question for you for you may get this question in 2 marks or sometime you may get in 5 marks so be ready for it so this is about measurement of utility i hope this is clear to you so after learning these two utility children after learning the cardinal and ordinal utility children we have to discuss two more other utilities now you are getting a question in the mind why are we learning these utilities because just now i said there are three to four laws theories are there in this lesson law of diminishing marginal utility law of equi marginal utility and here this law of equi marginal utility is uh, deleted this year because of the pandemic situation then indifference curve analysis all these uh, laws children based on this uh, utilities like and just now what we discuss cardinal utility ordinal utility and now more two utilities we are going to discuss so now the third utility that we are going to discuss children it is marginal utility it is marginal utility the third utility that we are going to discuss children marginal utility and also uh, we can say as total utility marginal utility and total utility are the more two utilities are there so let us discuss children one by one okay i'll rub this one and what we'll do it i will write it here for your convenience total utility i'll write it here and then here i'll write it marginal utility here i'll write marginal utility now what is total utility children the word itself is indicating total utility total satisfaction that a person derives after consuming the particular product total satisfaction is it clear that is called as total utility so what is total utility children total amount of satisfaction total amount of satisfaction total amount of satisfaction which a person gets gets after consuming the product which a person gets after the from the consumption or person gets from the consumption okay from the consuming that product the total amount of satisfaction that a person gets from the consumption children okay so total amount what is this total amount we are discussing for example okay 
Example is, I feel very hungry. And then what happens children? What I do? I'm not at that time, uh, food is not available at home. But fruits are available. In that fruit, uh, my, uh, what do you call, the fruit that I like most is apple. Okay. So now this is just an example children. Try to understand it. I told you, utility is measured in utils. Okay. So now, what I'll do? I'll take one apple. I'll take one apple. After taking one apple, I feel that it gives me 20 utils of satisfaction. One apple is giving 20 utils of satisfaction. That is the first apple that I am having it. So I feel very happy. I feel very much satisfied. Okay, the apple is very tasty. Because the apple is very tasty. So what I am doing, I am consuming second apple. Okay, when I consume the second apple children, what happened? The second apple is giving me 15 utils. Because some of the apple is there in my stomach and already I had it. I am not that much hungry because one apple is there I had already. So second apple children, what happened? It is not giving me the as much as satisfaction how the first apple give it to me. So second apple I am having and it is giving me 15 utils of satisfaction. Then I will have the third apple. This third apple gives me 10 utils of satisfaction. So children, what we find here? I found here, if we add this one, what is the total we are getting? 45. So after consuming the three apples, what is the total utility I got from the apples? I got 45 utils. Apples are increasing. If you find one thing, Apples are increasing. First apple, second apple and third apple. Apples are increasing but by satisfaction level it is decreasing. After the third apple I felt that now my stomach is full and I am not ready to take fourth apple. That means I am satisfied now with the three apples. As I am very hungry, first apple gave me much level of satisfaction. Second apple, it gave me satisfaction, but not as first apple. Third apple, by the third apple I had it, my stomach is full, my stomach is filled and I am not ready children to take more apple. So what is the total utility I got it children? 45 utils. That means here I can say that stock of apples are increasing, but satisfaction levels are decreasing. Is it clear children? Stock of apples are increasing, satisfaction levels are decreasing. So what is the total utility? By adding all the products, by adding all the things that I had it, what total I got it, that comes under as a 45 as a total utils. Now, what is the next one? Next one is marginal utility. So there is one equation for this one, TUN. So for this one, I hope uh, this is clear. So I am rubbing this uh, what you call example. The formula that is there for the total utility. It is TUN. TUN is equal to F. Is equal to F. And in bracket it is QN. You have to remember children this one. TUN is equal to F. So what is TU stands for? TU stands for total utility. TU stands for total utility. F stands for functional relationship. Functional relationship. And Q stands for quantity. Quantity of the total product. I hope it is clear. Now, marginal utility. What is marginal utility? So definition for marginal, first year compulsory you have to remember all these definition because whole throughout the book you will get these words children for graphs and for everything. At the time you will confuse. So you remember it. What is marginal utility? Marginal utility is nothing but the addition made. Marginal utility is the addition made, addition made to addition made to total utility to total utility margin means you have to remember addition by consuming one more unit by consuming one 
more units that is called as marginal utility that is called as marginal utility so what is marginal utility children marginal utility is a utility that we get it by addition to the total one addition to the total utility so for example now what is the example children again the same example i have to take first apple first apple gave me 20 utils first apple gave me 20 utils second apple gave me 15 utils second apple gave me 15 utils so what is total children 35 utils is a total but now what is a marginal utility what i added children to this 20 15 15 is called as marginal utility 15 is the marginal utility that i added to 20 and then i got total utility is it clear first apple gave me 20 second apple gave me 15 15 is a additional utility second utility is additional utility that i derived i got it after taking my second apple this is the marginal utility children so the formula for the marginal utility children the formula is m u n m u n m u n marginal utility then t u n total utility then t u n minus 1 just now n minus 1 is what children n minus 1 children total utility of n minus 1 total utility of n minus 1 commodity so children these are the all the utilities that we got it from the total utility marginal utility and then followed by ordinal and cardinal so i hope it is clear children the measurement of utility and also these utilities you have to remember all these utilities children because complete first year textbook you are going to get these four types of utility in one or the other way children hope this utilities are clear to you what are what we discuss children today <coughs> today we discuss about cardinal utility that based on numbers quantity ordinal utility no quantity based on ranks total utility total level of satisfaction marginal utility addition made to total utility remember these four definitions because based on these four definitions our next topic is there depend that is law of diminishing marginal utility 10 marks compulsory question for the examination that we are going to discuss in our next class i hope today class is today's class is clear to all of you children go through the textbook textbooks are distributed already to you go through the textbook my material is there with you children if you want to search any resources check that one but be skillful be strong in getting all those things so it now it's a time to leave children thank you thank you one and all thank you children